What's going on everyone? This is Vince with vshred.com and if you're currently going to the gym or working out at home and doing countless sets and reps of crunches and leg lifts and Russian twists but fail to see the improvement that you want when it comes to your midsection, in today's video I'm going to talk about and teach you different ways to execute one simple technique that could reduce the size of your midsection to give you that smaller waist that you've always wanted. I'm gonna keep on going up till the lights go down. All right, so like I said, today we're gonna go over several variations of one ab exercise that you gotta try out if you want a smaller and tighter midsection. And that is the stomach vacuum. Now, you might already be doing it, but are you doing it correctly? Because it looks easy, but mastering it, not so much. But when done with the right form and consistency, some people see insane results in as little as a couple of weeks, and I mean insane results. And yes, from just one exercise and nothing else. Now, while stomach vacuums can often yield results with no other changes, if you really want that shredded midsection, you have to lower your overall body fat percentage, and I talk about that all the time. Just hitting abs won't burn your belly fat, but neither will starvation diets or working out for two hours a day because they aren't sustainable long-term. And if you do wanna learn a sustainable way to get insane results, I have a free body type quiz that takes all the guesswork out of the equation and tells you exactly what you need to do to get in shape fast. And if you wanna check it out, I'll put a link to the free quiz in the description below. But let's talk stomach vacuums. Basically, stomach vacuums are a weightless exercise that have been around for decades that were originally made famous by the man Arnold himself. And this is something that you can perform to improve and strengthen your core and your pelvic floor. And yes, that was five bars in five seconds. But they work the layer of muscle that's actually hiding beneath your six pack. And that muscle is not easy to isolate, but there's actually quite a bit of science behind why this exercise works so well. And I don't wanna bore you too much with it, but just know you have your rectus abs and these are the external muscles, basically, this is what you see and your typical ab exercises work these. And then you have your transverse abs and these are the inner ab muscles. And there's also internal and external obliques as well. And these aren't talked about as much, but they're also very important. They basically run horizontally under your abs and your obliques. And to put it simply, they sort of help hold everything together. And then in addition to aesthetics, having a strong transverse abs will help you strengthen your pelvic floor and have better posture, which can mean less back pain as well. So basically the vacuum targets the inner abs specifically, which not many other exercises can do. Uh, but what's nice is there isn't just one single way to do a stomach vacuum. When you first start doing this exercise, it ain't easy and it ain't pretty. So we're gonna go over a couple of variations today and you can try them all and see which one you find the easiest to perform and then just do that for a few sets a day after your workout and in a few weeks, I'll bet your waist is quite a bit smaller than it was before. When doing this exercise, it may look like we're just sucking in the stomach, but we're not. It isn't that easy, unfortunately. And with the step-by-step -step execution that I'm about to lay out, I want you to pay close attention because I'm also gonna list out a couple of different ways to do this exercise, like I said, but the technique is the exact same for all of them. So to do a stomach vacuum, the first thing that you gotta do is take a deep breath in, real deep. I want you to fill your lungs completely. And after you've filled your lungs with air, it's time to empty your lungs out of all of that air. And I mean all of the air, until you literally couldn't even blow out a candle if you tried. And then without breathing in, you're gonna focus on expanding your chest, make it as big and as wide as you can. And then once your chest is all puffed out, you're gonna try to bring your belly button in and upward, almost as if you're trying to get your belly button to touch your spine, like literally visualize your belly button touching your backbone. And that's how far I want you to try to pull your belly in. And then after that, just comes an isometric hold. Now, this is not to be confused with just simply holding your breath, because you can, you should breathe while doing these, but in the beginning, it might be a little difficult. And so you could start with little 10 to 15 second holds without breathing, 
And then as you get more control of your core, add in a breath or two as you get better at it and then try to work your way up to 30 seconds and then 45 seconds and then a minute and then 90 seconds and so on and so forth. Essentially, you wanna be holding this as long as you can before relaxing your muscles and then just get set up for another round and do that for three sets of, the, of that same amount of time at least once a day. Now, most of the time, you see these done standing. But as I mentioned, there are several different ways that you can perform them. You can do them standing. You can do them standing with a twist. You can do them seated. And that's a good one for beginners or another good one for beginners is a seated with your back up against the wall. And then you can also try them laying down or another one that's great for beginners because it gives you a deeper pull is actually leaning over. And again, you wanna aim for at least three sets of however long you can hold this every single day. And the best thing about the vacuum is that you can do them anywhere. So this is never an exercise that you have an excuse not to do. You can do them while you brush your teeth, while you shower, while you're stuck in traffic, when you're sitting at your desk. Just get them in every single day and you'll thank me later. That's it for today, guys. Uh, one exercise to do that takes inches off your waist. Let me know how you like it down below in the comments and what your go-to vacuum position is if you've tried it out. But I hope this helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you 